today's episode is going to be me sharing some advice with you that I often need to hear myself. And that is, cut yourself a break. You're listening to the Wellness Simplified Podcast. Simple wellness tips to help you improve your life without turning it upside down. With your host, award-winning fitness instructor, nutrition coach, and wellness expert, Susie Fevens. Welcome back. First things first, uh, who noticed that I forgot to add intro music the last few episodes? (laughs) Because I noticed and I wanted to redo the episodes, like pull it back into the editor and add it, which really wouldn't have taken that much time once I realized But I didn't because you know what? I decided to cut myself a break and I figured if anyone stops listening to this episode because it lacks um, the musical intro, then probably they don't really want to listen, period. It does sound a little bit weird when you don't have the music when you're used to having it. So I'm happy to have it back. (laughs) But that was a good segue for today's topic. So today's topic, cut yourself a break. What brought this on is I record the podcast episodes um, all in one day, generally. So we recorded all of July's episodes back on Monday. It is now Thursday as I'm recording this. Um, And then when I was uploading them and scheduling them for July, I realized, oh dear, there was an extra Friday in July and I didn't record an episode. I thought, oh geez, what am I going to do? So initially I thought, you know what, I'm just going to leave it. And then closer to the end of July, I will go ahead and record another episode because I didn't really have anything I want to talk about today. But then I thought, no, I want to, I want to stay on track here and get it done. I thought, what can we talk about? And the first thing that came to mind was cutting yourself a break because we've been on this really, um, introspective theme this past month, talking about boundaries, talking about living for you, not for your work, um, talking about how our stress resiliency is low. And this really feeds into all of those because we as women, because most of the listeners of this podcast are women, we are not good at cutting ourselves a break. We will, you know, work ourselves into the ground. We are not good generally speaking, at creating and maintaining boundaries. We are not good at living for ourselves and not for others. We are not great at realizing that our stress resiliency is low and we need to take better care of ourselves. So if all of the previous episodes, the last three episodes didn't really hit at home for you, hopefully today's will, you need to cut yourself a break. And this is going to be an exceptionally short episode, even more so than the regular short and sweet for somewhere under 10 minutes, because I'm giving you a little bit of a homework, a little bit of homework, because I know that you have a to-do list. I know you have one, whether you've written it down or it's in your head, wherever it may be. Maybe it's not for today. Maybe it's for tomorrow. I don't know. And I don't care, but I want you to take a look at that list and I want you to circle or underline the top two or three items that need to be done the ones that absolutely need to be done. And I want you to rewrite or reformat the list so those three are at the top. Then I want you to make like a line and whatever items are left, I want you to delete half of them. So if you had a list with five things and you marked three as the top most important, you have two left, delete one. If you had a list of 10 things, you've identify the top three, you have seven left, you know what, go ahead and delete four. If you have an odd number, go for the higher of the half. Delete four of them. Choose the things that need to be done the most. Make sure you get those done. Anything below that line is a bonus, but I want you to cut half of those things because I want you to cut yourself a break. Your stress resiliency is low. You're re-entering the quote unquote normal world. You, it's summer, it's summer. You need to live for you, not for others or not for your job. Cut yourself a break. Cut half of those not necessary, not mandatory, not urgent items off of that to-do list. And give yourself a little bit of space. Give yourself a little bit of wiggle room. Give yourself some breathing room to enjoy the day. And before you say, Susie, I have to do all those things on this list. I have to, like, they're all important. Okay, sure. Sure, they're important, but they need to be done right now. If one of your kids or your spouse or a parent or a friend was in an accident, got injured, fell sick, and you had to go to the hospital, which of those items could you just immediately wipe off your list and say, you know what, this can wait until later? 
which of those items could you just wipe away if something urgent came up? Because you deserve to be able to take things off of your list even when there's not an emergency. So strike off half of what's left on the list. If you can strike off all of the list, that's even better. But let's not go crazy. Identify the top two or three items, strike off half or more of the rest, and give yourself a little bit of time. Maybe you're going to spend that time reading a book, watching TV, playing with your kids, taking the shower that you meant to have three days ago. I don't know. But cut yourself a break. Prioritize what needs to be done. Scrub off some of the things that don't need to be done right now. And you know what? By doing that, you're going to help build your resiliency. You're also going to help reinforce those boundaries that we've been talking about. And you're going to be living for you and not for somebody else or not for your job. All the things we've talked about this month. So please take the time to do this. If your to-do list isn't written down, go ahead and write it down. Circle or highlight the two or three most important. Rewrite the list. Anything that goes below that line of the top two or three, get rid of half of it. That's it for today's episode. I hope you cut yourself a break. Find some time to do something that fills your soul, and I will talk to you next week.